Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks video. So today I'm doing a little walkthrough of my local TK Maxx which is in Basildon in Essex. So I've seen on Facebook loads and loads of TK Maxx's are getting their Halloween stuff in already. So I wanted to go to my most local one and have a little look and see what they already had in. The date of filming this video is the 16th of July. It's only a short walkthrough. It's not as detailed as I would have liked it to have been because it was very busy in there. But this video will probably be going out maybe a week after I filmed it. But just wanted to have a little look round if you're local to Essex or go to the same one as me. So let's have a look. So there wasn't much Ray done. We had these cotton swabs, a um, couple of different types there. They That was all they had in like the homeware department-y sort of bit downstairs. A few different ones though. Um, I went upstairs and had a little look at all the coffees. Look how many they had. So, so many pumpkin ones ready for Halloween and autumn. Absolutely tons of these syrups for your coffee. And I suppose you could use them for milkshakes. Had a little look at the food. Lots of strange foods. I love looking at the food aisle in TK Maxx. Absolutely love it. Loads and loads of choice there and some bits that i've never seen before as well these little donuts two pound 29 loads of these meringues i'm not a fan of meringue myself but loads of different flavors oh maybe i should have got some to try to see if i liked flavored ones loads of like biscotti more meringues they had so many flavors they had lots of these like rice cakes and mochis Loads of different flavours of those as well, which I've not seen in there before. Some popping Boba. The pie cookies. I feel like I probably would have liked them. Cucumber flavoured Lays. Very strange. They had lots of bubble teas in there as well. Not loads of different flavours, but lots of the same flavour, really. Lots of different bits in there. I just like to have a little look over these, just... I do think it's sometimes I found things in there that I really like, but then unfortunately I can never get them again. They had tons of these as well, like make your own cocktails. You just got to add literally your alcohol. They were so good. I feel like they'd be really good gifts for people. It wasn't overly expensive. And then they had some really nice bottles. Look at these, they're like Starbucks style, but they're huge. $7.99. And I'm sure the Starbucks ones are like 20 quid now. This one was cheaper. It was a bit lighter than the green one. Love the style of them, though. Definitely go TK Maxx and have a look at them bottles if, if you like a bottle. Lots of empty bits for the mugs, though. Looks like they need a mug top up. They had some really pretty ones in there, but looked like they was missing so many. Looked like they needed some new stock. And then we found my first bit of Halloween. So some kitchen bits. We had these aprons in here. There was only a few different designs in those. $7.99. And they also had the, there we go, the little ghosties. They had a couple of designs in these as well, like the oven mitts. I found this as well. Look at it. Look at this Flamingo drinks trolley. £145. It was beautiful. Um, then I actually got into the Halloween section finally. So I had lots of pillows and some tea towels. Quite a few different designs. But again, some, some of the spaces just looked a bit empty. They had lots of lovely throws. These throws felt so soft and so thick. They were really lovely. And I think they was all $14.99. Really, really liked them. They were so, so soft, honestly. I loved these little dog ones as well, where they've got different Halloween outfits on. They had these pumpkins up here as well. Just decorative, $9.99. A few different ones there. Some different Halloween signs as well. Um, I feel like there was a few newer bits in this year. I feel like the last couple of years, some of the stuff's been pretty similar. But I do feel like they had some newer bits this year. A few Halloween mugs. But again, not many. Not many at all. I like the pumpkin-shaped ones. Yeah, a decent variety. But not as much as I was um, expecting. Then some sort of like kitchenware. I know last year, unless they are getting more out... Last year, they had a lot more kitchenware Halloween stuff, but might be because it's so early. This might be the first lot of their Halloween stuff. Love that little pumpkin bowl. <laughs> little mummy cat. Mug and bowl sets. I just know last year they had tons of plates and like cake trays and things like that, but it might be again because it's early. Maybe my one hasn't got all the stuff in as quick as... Look at that cute little guy. Um, 
maybe mine hasn't got all the stuff in as quick as everyone else's. Some bigger statues. I liked this little boo girl. She was so cute, but I just haven't got anywhere to put it. Lots of globes again. They always have lots of globes. Finally, onto the candle. So we had this Monster Fright one by DW. A few other ones in there as well, all different brands. Lots of the Sand and Fog again. Little one, four ninety nine. Back in the day, they used to be £2.50. This little guy had the wrong lid on him. The one next to it should have had that lid on there. You can see all the ones behind. They've all got the ghosty lid. There you go, sour gummies with the right lid. Licorice twist. I didn't actually smell that one on cold. I wish I would have now. A few pumpkin scents. Then these ones, they're not actually candles. They've just got the um, the fit the bag inside that smells. I can't think what they're called. Loads of sand and fog. I still need to give one of these a go because they've got so many in there. But I feel like if they was popular or they was good, there wouldn't be so many in there. Lots of pumpkin scents are starting to come around. A few more Halloween-y ones here. I found this cute little guy. Haunted Orchid. Orchard. Just a plain lid on that one with some ghosts on there. Another one with the little ghost. I'm loving the little ghosty on the top. A little bit of a closer look at these two together. Not many DW Halloween ones in there. Quite a lot of the same scent. That's all right. A few ornaments. I definitely feel like they've not got all of them out at the moment. I definitely feel like this is the start of it, but I don't feel like this is the end of it. They definitely had a lot more last year. They had this guy last year, so <laughs> creepy Halloween pig. I loved this one. Glows in the dark as well. They had some nice glass pumpkins. Again, last year they had more of these, but it might be because I'm so keen. I have gone early, but I know a lot of other TK Maxxes have got tons more than this. Um, this was their normal candle selection. A few DWs dotted about in there, not as many as there used to be. A few Yankees dotted about in there as well. Another DW there. I, I was trying to have a browse through, but some of them are just brands that I've never even heard of. This funky cube looking one. Really beautiful looking, but I just... Some of them are just too dear and I've never tried them before. And they've still got the booty candles in there. <laughs> Some more Yankees. Apple pie. They had that last year from DW Home. Found a Chesapeake Bay. I've reviewed a couple of these recently. But again, it was $7.99. It's still quite dear for TK Maxx. It's basically that price in store. Another Yankee hiding over the back. Another little pumpkin scent hiding down there. It's just a lot of the shelves seemed quite empty near the back so I don't know if they was due a delivery like in the next day or two of me going but everything looked like it needed a to top up really some more pumpkins there another DW another glass pumpkin next to it um they had these as well from Ray Dunn these were the only other things I could find in there of Ray Dunn just these little storage boxes and then the cotton swabs that were downstairs these were upstairs but I had no use for them okay so it wasn't quite as good as I was expecting it to be. It looks like a lot of people's TK Maxx's have got a lot more than my local one, which was Basildon uh, Pips Hill in Essex. So I just thought I'd show you the few bits I got, even though there's only a few candles, I just thought I'd show you what I did end up grabbing and um, things you may have seen in the video, a couple of things, maybe not. So I did get myself this really cute fro. Um, I'm probably gonna start using it now anyway, just cause I needed a new fro, but it's got super cute little Halloween dogs all on it, all different designs. I don't know if you saw in the video, but there was a couple of different ones of this. So there was a grey fro with Halloween dogs on it, but the dogs were different. So this was only $14.99 and it's so thick and soft. So yeah, I probably I probably will start using that straight away. I'm sure it was $14.99. Yep. It's so soft, honestly. It's so thick and it's really, really big as well. Um, I got myself some Turkish Delight because I really like it, the one with the nuts inside it. Just got myself a dress that was there, just a nice summery dress. A vase that I needed. Also, da, 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 da. how can you see cucumber lays and not try them? I had to give it a go because I've never even heard of them in my life. I didn't even know such a thing existed. So I got them to give them a go. I might do a little short on them just to see if they're any good. But I also got da, 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 the squid flavoured ones. 
I just had to try it. I love trying all new weird food, but you know I'll probably end up really liking maybe these ones and I'll never be able to find them again. And um, I also got myself some skinny dip cotton candy body scrub and I needed a new makeup brush. But on to the more important things, the candles that I ended up going for. So I did get the DW Home Sour Gummies. This smells really, really sweet on cold. So I'm really looking forward to that. It was 3 99 Remember the days when these used to be £2.50? But it, I had to give it a go because it smelled so strong and cold. But it is a bit hard with the small ones. Sometimes they don't perform that well because there's just such a diddy single wick. Um, I also got this one. Absolutely love this. It doesn't smell that strong on cold. It's called Graveyard Fog. But... The thing that sold me, so there was a few that had this little cute ghost on top, which you saw in the video, and I really wanted one that had the cute ghost on top, but the thing that sold it for me was that this glows in the dark. So I don't know if the ghost glows in the dark as well, but the cobwebs are supposed to, so obviously when I come to reviewing this, I'll see if they glow in the dark as well. It looks like it's going to, because I feel like it's already going that sort of glowy colour when I'm leaning over it. And then I was going to get the Haunted Orchid, um, what was it, the Haunted Orchid or was it the Haunted Orchard? It was in the video, it was the pink one. I was going to get that, but then I saw this and I thought, Do you know what, I've got two Halloween ones there for now and then I'll get a non-Halloween one. So Lavender Cocoa Fudge. So I love chocolate candles, but I'm not keen on lavender, but this smells more chocolatey. So I thought I'd give that a go, $7.99, definitely getting more expensive. How much was this one? 8.99 so definitely the dw candles in tk max are definitely getting a lot more expensive but yeah i got them free to start off with i might go there again maybe throughout august um end of august and see if they they get any more stuff in but the candle shelves in particular just looks pretty empty and considering what i've been seeing online there definitely wasn't nowhere near as much um halloween stuff in my local one compared to what other people have got so maybe they're still getting it out Maybe I'll go again in, in maybe a month's time and see if there's any more or knowing my luck, that will probably be it is what they've got and it will all be sold out by the time I go again. But yeah, even they had a fair selection of Halloween candles, but I was mainly just looking for the DW Home ones. But yeah, it wasn't a bad little haul. I'm quite happy I got the throw. I needed this gold vase for some Lego flowers that I've got, but weird crisps. Should not have bought them because they was $3.99 a pack and they're probably going to be all full, but... I had to give them a go just because I've never seen them before. And then, yeah, we've got two Halloween DWs and a lavender cocoa fudge. So obviously I'll be getting them reviewed for you soon. I've still got to um, review some Wax Addicts ones and that that I've got. So these will be for our August, but you'll see them soon. So let me know if your local TK Maxx has got much Halloween bits or if your home sense has. Um, obviously, I haven't got one of them very close to me, so... It's, it's sort of like a 20 minute half hour drive so I'm not too keen to go there just to look for the Halloween bits but this was only a 15 minute drive from me so quite happy with what I got would have liked to have got more candles but obviously because the price of them has gone up it's just so expensive to end up buying more than well I was only gonna I was actually gonna get four but then I put that um I'm sure was it called oh my god I'm gonna watch this video back now and have the wrong name for it but the um the pink Halloween orchard or orchid whichever one it was out of them two um you see it in the video i was going to get that as well but i just thought nice no, too much because it's going to end up costing me quite a lot just for some candles and i did want to get these few other bits as well so yeah let me know if your local has got any decent halloween bits or if you've seen any candles different to what i've got today um let me know and yeah i'll try and pop back there maybe throughout august just to have another little mooch and see if there's anything new but as always thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this short little walk around tk max with me um, and I'll get some new reviews out for you soon.